Blending old-fashioned mechanical know-how with state-of-the-art computer programming techniques, the Engineering and Wind Erosion Research Unit at USDA's Agricultural Research Service Grain Marketing and Production Research Center in Manhattan has developed a new product that helps wheat breeders more efficiently segregate red and white kernels of wheat, shaving thousands of hours off the wheat breeding process. In an effort to develop high-quality lines of wheat, Wheat breeders often use both red and white wheat lines as parents. The end result may be several bushels of mixed classifications of wheat. In the business of wheat breeding, maintaining purity between classes is critical, but picking through hundreds of pounds of mixed wheat by hand would be an insurmountable task, thus the need for a mechanical sorter. Agricultural engineers Tom Pearson and Floyd Dowell invented the single kernel sorter, Commercial versions of these units now have a place in every wheat breeder's laboratory throughout the Great Plains and in Oregon. The sorter feeds kernels single file and drops them into a chute one by one. As they trickle off the chute, a digital image of each kernel is taken and a computer processor activates an air valve diverting red kernels into one tray, white kernels into another. The sorter can process about six and a half pounds of seed per hour. And so for a breeder that, you know, may have a bushel or several bushels, you can, they can set this up and it can run continuously. It doesn't get tired and uh, doesn't get fatigued. It's just as accurate, uh, you know, two days from now as when you set it up. So. The single kernel sorter has gained interest from a host of seed and food company officials who believe it can be adapted to ensure food safety and security. Engineers Dowell and Pearson can program the computer software to segregate a host of commodities, including corn, soybeans, navy beans, pistachios, and almonds. One large popcorn company is considering the purchase of sorters to separate damaged popcorn kernels. I think that if we could make the machine run fast enough, that there would be commercial uses for wheat and for food grain corn. Um, but, and we're working on that, but the way I see it now, that that's, that's probably 10 years before we get all of that, all that through. The engineers are working on a new high-speed sorter that uses a number of off-the-shelf components, but each commodity requires different computer programs, which are complex and time-consuming to generate. Financial and human resources are two things the wind erosion and engineering unit are lacking as the budget has been slashed in recent years. However, Dowell and Pearson, who represent the only engineering-only unit of ARS, are convinced that future success for this order is imminent. It's getting to the point here where you could have several of these machines in, running in parallel. So if you were a miller and you had a lot of scab damaged wheat. I could see 30 of these machines just running side by side to, to get that scab out of the, out of the wheat and then it would be uh, good wheat to, to mill.